Welcome back to Talk of Things, episode 7, we're here again. <laughs> yeah, Follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. We've got an action-packed show today. We'll be talking about women and their position within dancehall. Holy for things that we're going to address. And the panel is going to be us beautiful faces, what you're used to seeing as normal. We have yeah. Chanel, no, AKA, Mr. Emperor Ls. Thank you. And me, Kayla, Kayla Sweets, AKA Chatty World. <laughs> 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 and let's not forget, we have a brilliant stop that. <laughs> dark, dark. <laughs> no, I'm joking. And we have a beautiful addition to the show today. We have the beautiful Alakai Hotshot. Hi! Hey! What? Let's see if I can actually get on the seat. <laughs> Hi, everyone! Hi! We um, finally got her, guys! She blessed us, Seth. Yeah, she did. Came down. Can we just do the little hot shot? Harley! Hot shot! Harley! Hot shot! Harley! <laughs> yeah, so welcome to Talk the Team. Lovely that Thank you're pressing us. Yeah. I'm here though. Yeah, loving the hair, loving, loving the outfit. Loving it, loving it, loving it all. Let's get straight into it. Yeah. Tell us about whoever doesn't know about Alakai, I don't know what planet you're living on, but really? for the people them that have been on Jupiter recently, <laughs> <laughs> tell us a little bit about Alakai. Um, I'm Alakai Hotshot Harley. Um, I do dancehall, I do rap, I do R&B, I do hip hop, I do practically anything. Um, I'm crazy. Um, I'm amazing. <laughs> I'm the greatest. The greatest. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, yeah. you've been represented as the greatest. Is it? It's not yeah, just self representation. Someone We've had a previous guest on. Mm -hmm. If you've been watching the shows, you will know. They've been singing your praises. A few Hi. episodes mm -hmm. back, mm. the one named SNE. Big up SNE still. Well, yeah. Left yeah. Up. My brother. Yeah. My brother, brother. <laughs> and he actually announced that he feels that you should be. Queen, queen of Dancehall in UK, yeah. or just Queen of Dancehall, full stop. So, what what was your thoughts on that? Hearing that, that was amazing. That was lovely. Yeah, I, I, I love that you said that. Yeah. Um, big up Esther Lee Dunlop. Um, I feel like I'm a queen anyway. So. <laughs> I mean, Queen of Dancehall, Queen of Hip Hop, Queen of R&B doesn't really matter for me to be honest. I'm queen anyway. So you know what you put in a box. Birth to Empress. You don't. What? <laughs> so I don't really mind. Yeah. But however, I respect it and I take it on. Obviously, everyone's yeah. got their opinion. Some people yeah. are gonna disagree with you. Know I mean, yeah. but like, that's my G. Saying it. I'm not really trying to be the queen of anything. Okay. Like I said, I already know that I'm definitely powerful and I'm definitely here mm. for a reason. But I feel like everyone's running for a crown that's not really there. Yeah. So I don't really care. But I'm queen anyway. So <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> like there's no crown to be given. Mm. Born with the crown. Mm. Can't take it if you're born with it. There we go. So in in regards to your career path, like you said, your your hip hop, your rap, your dance all, your everything. Um Obviously, we've been leaning towards the side that is more dancehall. Mm -hmm. um, we've been embracing it. Mm. We love it. We love that side of Alakai Harley. Thank you so much. Um, we've been blogging it all over our yep. I literally. I was <laughs> <snapped> <laughs> chat. Mm. Literally. All our so we like media. that side. Is it something that you will lean to more, or is it just where <laughs> your spirit takes you? It's definitely just where my spirit takes me. Okay. So um, obviously, I am born in Jamaica. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, all my family do speak with the accent, and I speak to it. It comes at chips in here and there. Mm. Yeah. So I kind of write music to however I speak yeah. so it, I think it will always be there but there might be a time when I'm writing an R&B tune and it's just very much R&B very much mm. English accent or yeah. whatever I kind of just do whatever I feel I feel like with music being a creative you just put out what you feel at the time of course yeah not not even put out write what you feel at the time mm -hmm. but obviously I can choose what I put out to the yeah. public and that is a part of you anyway so yeah. it's going to transpire into your music 100%. and you're living in a, a British land so yeah. that's also going to transpire into 100%. your music so and we've all been influenced from different cultures from a young child yeah. um, I can I don't know if you lot will agree but when we were growing up America and mm -hmm. R&B and things that were oh, heavy influence yeah, yeah. In, in our growing up so that will also transpire into your music as well um, what's it like being a female in the industry um, do you think that it's hard to be taken seriously or do you have to, ten ta have to prove yourself ten times more you know what <coughs> not at all I don't I don't know what anyone else would say if they came up they would say they feel like they have to prove yourself anymore mm. but um, being in the industry even from when I was young 
I never felt like I had to prove myself anymore. I just, I don't, obviously I don't know how it feels to be a man. Yeah. So I can't really tell you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I just felt like with anything that you have to do, you've got to work a certain amount anyway. Like a lot of people look at artists that are out there and they'll say, oh, they say it to me directly, like, you, oh, how is she blown and you ain't blown? But I'm like, you see her up there, you didn't see the growth. You have to, yeah. Yeah. You have to do a certain amount of exactly. work to get where you are. Yeah. I feel like I don't see the, really the gender thing in it. I feel if anything, when a, when a hard female comes out and do a thing, she can get a bus easier. That's me personally though. Yeah. Anyone can disagree. But for me, I feel like you can get a bus easier if you're sick. Do you feel that like being a female, like you said, you get a bus easier um, if you're sick, you're like sick. Um, obviously Steph London's got a bus or whatever, mm. but there's a lot of other females that I wouldn't say that, um, I am going to say it, I would say mm. that Steph can be a bit, she's kind of sexualized, mm. she's very high feminine, mm. and there's a lot of people that are more like reserved, um, that wouldn't get the same bus as her. Do you think that you have to be sexualized as a female to get that bus? Or you can be humble and do maybe your conscious or maybe be like in your tracksuit or in your jeans and whatever and get the same bus because of the talent. Yeah, I think um, personally, um, it's obviously you can bust being sexual. That's kind of the thing that, that we know about doing easiest it. Easiest way. Mm. Yeah, apparently. Well, mm. apparently it's the yeah. easiest way. Mm. However, I feel like the thing that people tend to do, especially females, is that they decide that this is the way they're going to go and they do it on a mediocre level. I feel like whatever you're going to do, you have to really overdo it yeah. so if you're going to do the conscious thing you have to overdo, overdo the it. conscious thing yeah. if you're going to do the thing where it's like oh I'm keeping I'm being a feminist you have to overdo it for people to be able to see you anything you have to do you have to overdo oh, it so yeah. with the sexual thing I think it, it, everyone's being sexy every female that's out there it's, is yeah, being sexy. sexy however you may say that she's overdoing it that's the reason why it's working you know yeah. what I'm but I don't feel like as a female you have to over you have to um be sexual or whatnot or whatever bar, and I don't feel like it's wrong for you to be sexual either no. why not, not at all what not are what are you overdoing then um, I'm just overdoing my character. I'm not even overdoing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, yeah? Let me tell you what it is. I don't know, like, obviously you see it in the interview, hopefully yeah. through this, but I'm a very overdue ca- character anyway. Like, yeah. as a person, everything I do is overdone, like, it's unnecessary. Yeah, do you have overdue. people telling you that you need to stay <laughs> back instead? No, they don't even tell me to stay back because I, I feel like I, I want to point out as fun as possible. I, yeah. I'm a very fun person, like, the randomest things, you know what I mean? And that's, that's me. I know, I watch snaps. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, watch those boo-boo. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean, literally, literally. literally. And I mean, when, when I have held back, so all my life, I, I'm 21 now. Yeah. And when I used to hold back, Bye, yeah, I know. <laughs> when I used to hold back, I used to try not to show my character. And the minute mm. I started saying, oh, I feel I'm just saying what yeah. I feel like to do. Yeah. I'm an overdone character. Yeah. My hair's pink, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like the whole... I, I'm here, yeah. I've arrived, sort of thing. Why not? And that's just what I'm trying. I'm just trying to be my character. I feel like my character really stands out, and I just want to show the world mm. to me. Where did it, it does come across genuine as well? Yeah, it it shows true to you, and I think people will believe that. Thank you. Yeah. Um, where did your name Alakai Harley Hot Shot come from? Yeah. Like, how did you come Ooh. about it? Like, how? We want to know how. It's my because it all split different. So Alakai, Alakai Harley came from my original name. So my name's actually Leslie and Alicia Harley. Okay. Okay. So my last name is actually Harley and everything. And Alicia, initially it was going to be Alicia Harley. And we were ready for that. We was in a studio with Karma. Shout out Karma Cruz. Um, she's like a stick in the genius producer and everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, it's as well. Oof. But like... <laughs> she next. Like, she no, no, next she's sick. She's sick. So like, um, we was in the studio and we was like... And I changed around the last two letters. So the... A-R-C-A-R. The last two letters. A-N-R. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I changed them around. I changed them around. So I made the A-I. So I was saying, right, even though it's, when you look at it, it's... It, doesn't make sense. I'm gonna say Rob, you're gonna pronounce it as Alakai because I want yeah. it to be said as Alakai because I'm like Alicia kind of like Alicia Keys. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. So I wanted to like make it much easier and then she was like, Alakai, you might as well say Alakai. Mm. Keep the little accent on the top of it and say Alakai. And I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds cold. That yeah. sounds clear. It's a beautiful mm. name. Like, it is. It is. Yeah. And that was about two years ago. Lovely name, yeah. Alakai. Bare people. When I first saw the name, I was just like, it's a lovely name, Alakai. Alakai. Mm. It's just in my of like Malachi, those yeah, kind of names. Yeah. Very beautiful. Stuff. And then where did the hot shot come from? Um, the hot shot, I was coming down the stairs mm. and my best friend SSK, shout out SSK, <laughs> sick producer, he was he literally rigged with me the whole time. So like we met each other in 2015 and we met I wrote on Twitter today really enough. But we met and then we just became best friends mm. after okay. like crazy. We re- with literally two peas in a pod together every single day. So he stood as a manager and stood as everything else, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then one day we were coming down the stairs, we were going to a show, and he was like, hot shot. And I was like, 
what did you just say? <laughs> well, I was like, what did you, what did you just say? And I said, repeat again. My mom was there, stand up at the top of the stairs. <laughs> Weirdo, <isn't it? laughs> Okay, he's like, hat shut. And I said, that is it. Same way, and it came from, you know how, um, El- Missy Elliot had um, Miss Amino. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was like, hot shot. So I, even my cover for my flyers was like a, a cover that she had before where it said, her cover said Miss Amino. Yeah. Um, yeah. Miss Elliot, Miss Amino. And my one was Alakai and Hot Shot Harley. So yeah. I was just I like, yeah. It, it runs, it runs. The one so it's runs. nice. It's nice. So, it runs. It runs. So, um, so you're 21. Yeah. You're born in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. You're here. Making Fill in the gaps. Like, how did you get from there to here? And then, when did music enter your life? Mm. When did it become apparent that I am the hot shot? Yeah. And I'm doing this. Yeah. From since I was really young. So, so from when I was in Jamaica, I was always singing. It was always singing music. Okay. I've been music from when I was really young. Okay. All I can remember. I just wanted to be a musician. Yeah. I came here when I was five. I turned six the next month. It was still music. I did school. I did everything else. I was always writing. I've been writing music for young. So since mm. I could actually write. Right. I've been writing music, I've been making my own things. When I used to sing out of places, I used to sing my own music and stuff like that. Mm, yeah. And then when I was in year seven, my dad passed. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then I um, right, released my first song. Right. Yeah, and, and then I, um, thank you. And then I released my first single, which was called Daddy's Song, which is oh. off YouTube. You're not going to find it yet. Oh. <laughs> How about that? Everyone's like, you know, I'm going to find it. I was about to say, okay, when I get young, you're going to Google it. And I was, I was, I was le- like 11, 12 at the time. Okay. And I released that, and I was in school at the time, like I said, year seven. And um, I performed it and stuff like that, and I performed other things. I remember what, one day I performed it, and everyone was crying at the oh time in school. It was crazy. Wow. It was like, I never performed again after that. <laughs> it was deep. But um, and I started just doing music. I started pushing music okay. up until about 14, so that young. I stopped okay. again, started going again when I was about 16. Mm-hmm. And just rapidly, I went by the name of Paige. And I did quite a lot of stuff. So I did I did this open mic UK um, show. I came second in 2016. Okay. And I opened for a few people. At this mm. stage, were, was it dance or was it more rap? Mm. It was rap and it was hip hop. Okay. And I had the patter in it sometimes. Yeah. So it was that. It wasn't so harsh as it is now. Now, yeah. But when you do listen back to it, you can hear that it's what I do now is just like a more you know, more defined yeah, version, yeah, yeah, yeah. Defined, what you're version. That, yeah. Mm. yeah, okay, okay, yeah. So, how did gold come about? That's my tune, I'm not yeah, even gonna that, lie. For those that don't yeah. know, it's my title, gold. like, it's in my daily travel when I'm going to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sort of Literally, yeah. it's yeah. 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 like, it is, it's like, okay. I listen to gold, and then I might play it back again, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then we go into some other stuff, like, it starts my day like that. And then you might chronic. go back into it, yeah, just one more time, one more time. Top 10 songs, yeah. Yeah. literally, it's in there, and then before I get into work, I can see my workplace, and I'm like, one more time. Before we get in, 2017, top 10 songs. Literally, literally, it is. It's a banger and it's sweet and it's just, you know, it's a nice blend of everything. Mm. Like it's Thank just, so much. it's nice to see. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you. Lovely. So how did that song come about? Goal came about. I was doing something called Hot Shot Tuesdays. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I'd got to the stage in life where I quit my job in it when a, a couple of years back. Like so, I've never been a person that could like work a normal job. Yeah. Hated it. Boring. Just not for you. Mm, not interested. Yeah. And I quit so many jobs and then the last one that I quit was McDonald's. But then again, I did that little FC thing anyway, I suppose. <laughs> but um, I quit my job, and so this is me not working, etc., etc. And I was like, I'm going to go hard, I need to put myself in the deep end. And I was mm. hungry for music. Yeah. And at this point, I'm doing shows, I'm doing shows. But I was like, I write so quickly, and I, my mood's changed so much. Yeah. That um, my friend turned around to me, shout out Adrienne, she's six. And she um, said to me, I think you need to do something that you do every week. Okay. And she said, call it something. You write the music, the song, yeah. and you record it every week on the day. Yeah. So I said, I'll call it Hot Shot or something. And she was like, yeah, we could do that. And then we said Hot Shot Tuesday. Mm. And so we did Hot Shot Tuesdays. So every week it was like, we had to oh, we had to do it with a video as well. So it was like, okay. we could record it with a video without it being pre-recorded, or mm. we could pre-record it and then record a the video, video. Okay, mm. yeah. and put it out on my Instagram and stuff like that. And so I started doing that, and then I was so unwell the whole of it but I was riding through it I was riding through yeah. it I was sick with my throat I was riding through it and then when it got to the 10th one I was initially going to put out a track called New Better which I was um, performing at every show and it would just go crazy when it performed it so I said this yeah. that one I then recorded the track and I was like no and I had only a few days left and I went to Scandals Scandals. Yes, no uh, <laughs> I went to Scandals and me, I always said, I ain't going to Scandals. I'm like, I'm not in all of this. I can't take it. Just leave me alone. I'm just, 
so they end up, end up going anyway. And after scandals, um, I'm not gonna go into the story. Nothing that happened at scandals. It weren't nothing like you know what you can't come here. What happened at scandals? You can't talk the things. You can't talk the things. Scandals and you definitely talk the things. And you gotta say, yeah. I'm not gonna talk what happened. That nah, doesn't nah, happen. Nah, 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 nah. That don't happen. No, you have to talk right, what happened. The, tr the truth is, I spoke to someone at scandals mm, right. and they said something. And it was their character that that that, that made me write a song. So I actually wrote the wrote the song okay. for someone's Based character. Off of someone's okay. character. Mm. And the funny one thing is, the character was not a male. Okay. It was a female's character I was writing over, and that's why I spoke it, saying Gallia spent too, too much time, time to hold. Yeah. Wine, yeah. Wine. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Because I was writing it from a male's perspective mm -hmm. of that character of a female. Oh, right. Okay. Like, okay. And it was so I, I don't know. It's creators were so weird, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah. But yeah, and I got home and I was just thinking. Basically, she said something, and it was just like. But when she said it, I was, it, it just made me like write a song right, when I got yeah. home. So it was like four o'clock in the morning and I wrote the song. And instantly when I wrote the song, I was sitting there like, you're a legend. <laughs> <laughs> you just knew, you just knew. I love it. I was like, you're a legend. I prayed, I was like, God, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I called my friend, um, the guy that I was speaking to at the time. And he was like, which still shout out, shout out space. And he was saying, Oh my gosh, this is like powerful. Yeah, like, this song is powerful. Like it's just like this song's gonna put you out there and whatever. And I was like, I felt it as well. I saw everything in my head. <laughs> and then um, the next day, I recorded it. I messaged Karma. I was like, please, I need to record this, please, please. And she said, yeah. And I went to her studio. I recorded it. And the next day, I shot the um, I shot a mini video first. Okay. Before the big video that everyone okay. sees now. The first video. With yeah, the, the cups and the, the, yeah, yeah, oh, the yeah, first the video, G man. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a shout out to the people that were behind me because they really had my back. Yeah. Like, yeah, I said, yeah, tomorrow this is the whole shoot they were shooting, and even Menza, shout out to Menza, man, yo Menza, he's sick as well, great artist. He's got a tune called Green, check it out. And I um, called him. I said I needed a guy, and he came in, and I did that video, and then I put it out the next day. So but that I was the one that clip. came out, which, yeah. which wasn't the intended it song was. to come out that Tuesday. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to come out, but I said I knew that the one that. I wanted, I was like, it's not there yet, it's yeah, not there. It's not okay. But I put a little snippet of um, of um, gold this, straight after I recorded it, and my Snapchat was doing okay. bits. Yeah. Okay. Like bits, so it's, yeah. it's like, I was just like, this is it, and this then, is yeah, the one. I released yeah. it, and then it just, and straight away, I as soon as I um, I recorded it, I'd already had all the DJs. So I was sending, boom, boom, boom. Went yeah. to their Twitter, went to their Instagram. Yeah. That's boom, how boom, I boom, found boom. it. Yeah. Straight mm. up, went to everyone. Yeah, I found it from, I think it was Fresh Meds. Jeez, I love, I love yeah. Fresh Meds. On their Instagram. Fresh Meds. And I was like, what's this? They've been supporting this? me for time as well. And then I heard it, I was like, what? I was like, remember where I first heard this it? This tune's mad. I think it was on Instagram. No, I, I heard it, but wasn't like... I think it was on Instagram, and, and then it was like, like we need to post this it. This song mm -hmm. keeps on playing it. Who yeah, is this girl? girl? Like, yeah. who you know is what? she? Literally. I've got to pick up the DJs. People don't give DJs enough recognition. Like, yeah. I've got to pick up DJs. I don't want to say no names, I have missed any names. I'm going to be But the DJs that supported me, you know who you are, and they proper mm. read for me. Like I'm and telling that's you, nice. it got to the point where um, Naomi was like to me, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, you know, gold is in every mix. I'm like, <laughs> no, it's not. I remember, we got a CD one day. We went out, yeah, mm. and I was like, oh, really, gold's gonna be in this. I plugged it, and I'm there, like, mm. you know, we're sitting in the car, we're like, <laughs> we're like gold is in the mix. <laughs> <laughs> no. But that's so good though, sick. because at the end of the day, what we were talking about in previous episodes is like. Um, um, the artist on our previous episode was saying a lot of people don't want to give you the support until mm. they've reached a certain pinnacle or until mm. you've reached a certain mm. pinnacle and they don't want to give you the benefit of the doubt they don't want to give you the support it's like when you've got somewhere that's when they want to jump on the way mm. yeah. so you've got a different flip side story yeah. you've got mm. people who have been supporting me from the get go yeah. like we've been talking for mm. all of 10 minutes and the amount of people you've shouted at to say yeah. that giving yeah. you <laughs> support no it's yeah. real and that yeah. shows that people are showing that's what I'm saying yeah, right. It has to be a collective thing. If you want whatever you're involved in, if I'm a DJ and I want mm -hmm. my industry to grow, I have to support yeah. whoever's coming up in the industry. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? If I'm a producer mm -hmm. or a record label, I have to support whoever's coming up. I can't just get all of the big shots mm. coming out. So, Alakai, when you had the idea for the song and you wrote it, did you know what rhythm you was going to voice it on? on yeah. The beginning? Yeah. Straight away. So, straight away, I literally, I had, I've been on YouTube anyway. I've been trying to find beats and I came across the beat. Shout out Jay Glad, sick, sick producer from South Africa. And I wrote it straight on the beat. So I had a beat there and everything. Okay, so the melody just went on it straight. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about um, the other artist that did a cover on there as well on that same rhythm? Um, mm. Jay Glad. Yeah, so a few people. 
um, J Cass's one. I think we posted it on our on our Instagram. Is that that one that goes? Um, my shoes to West London. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, it was lit. It was lit. It was lit. I think he did a, did wavy. a nice little rendition of no, it. Still. Did. No, it was so funny. Nice. I was hearing it. Um, when was it? About about two days ago. So it's weird you mention it now. Literally, yeah. I was in it two days ago and I listened to it all the way through. He did it. Yeah, right. he did it all right. Yeah. I think like. Your one's top for me, like, but I think he was a good, he was a good thing. I know I've, quite a few people have gone over it, but I think he did a. Yeah, quite a nice it was just different. I think I, I don't know if this is any better. Or blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but yeah, he just something different. Because that's nice. what I was thinking. Yeah, because when I heard it, I was thinking, it's so different. It's crazy that it's the same beat, mm. but it's a whole Com- complete, different thing yeah, on the beat. Literally, and that's literally. what I like. So that dance so yeah. Yeah. Comes music, out, yeah, do your version. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who else? Is and there? it shows your originality. I can't remember. I know someone else has got a mix on it as well. Um, it's another guy. Yeah, I mean, what, what? Imagine I don't, I don't even know that one. <laughs> you I just focus on it. your own, the gold yeah, one. I don't know that one. <laughs> so, who would you say is doing it for you right now, like UK based? Other than, <laughs> other than, <laughs> other than, other than Alex, I'm not even joking. <laughs> I came prepared, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I picked out the ones that I could when I was down there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sorry, we're talking about male or female, we're talking about all. Everyone, 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 everyone's included. All right, the UK. Yeah. yeah. Are, are, you, right. are you restricting this to dance or are you? Well, let's hear the names. Medi- 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 everybody. Yeah. Everybody, everybody. There's just a few on there, so if I miss out any, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. Just <laughs> let, allow me, innit? They're not doing it. Cool. No, they are doing <laughs> you wrote it. No, they're not. <laughs> I know, I know. But I only wrote it quickly that I ran up here and wrote it. Alright, I got Tiana Major. This is a couple of days ago. She had me wrapping my head and doing all sorts. Okay. Doing my stuff, you can see it. I'm doing my thing. Tiana Major, Ariel, Trey Blue. Shana Sade, kind of sick thing. She did yeah. team with SME as well. Yeah, we posted one of her tunes. Yeah. Lit, 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 lit. Mm. Tally Wall, my babes. <laughs> she she knows, she knows already. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Lavelle London, my G. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, yeah, amazing, so amazing. Beautiful, amazing. Beautiful. No, Lavelle. Oh. Oh, I thought, I thought <laughs> it was oh, Lavelle the girl. No, it's Chevelle, Chevelle Lavelle. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was her. Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah. I thought it was a girl one. No bloopers, we're keeping them. Yeah. <laughs> so Lavelle London, man, he's sick. If you don't know about him, he's nah, sick. He's sick. Oh, sh- <laughs> Big up. Oh, look, look. Oh, oh, he's been on here as well. Jungle. <laughs> SNE, sick. Jungle, done known. He's got so much more things to come. He's yeah. amazing, man. Yo, Menza, he was actually in, like I mentioned him before, he was in a gold video. Okay. okay. Sick, sick. My G. Hold your phones. EK. Because I keep saying your name wrong. So I'm just going to say EK, yeah? His name's EK, yeah? Dexter Dax. Oh, I'm there saying yeah, Jamaican ones now, aren't it? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Mm. Everyone okay, cool. I'll you, go, back, yeah. go, back, go back up then. Spice. <laughs> Scissor. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry V. Look at me doing big ups like I'm on radio. <laughs> Ed Sheeran. Captain Conan. Dorsey. Alkaline. Hey. Young Babe. Oh. Drake. Yeah. So who's your them. top maybe three then? That, that maybe... Maybe not even that you would do that. That is doing it for you right now. Yeah, that just, is just like that's top for top you. three that's doing yeah. it for me right now. From all over. A um, top three that's doing it for me right now. SNE. I'm not I, just I doing that because he came because on the show. I you and Mano- say you are the no, queen. No, I no. Mano- <laughs> so you didn't say that. You didn't say that. You said 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 that. You never disagreed. You didn't disagree. You never. You said that. 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 You but yeah, no, nah, he's sick though. And I'm not just saying that because you came up there. Yeah. Thingy. Like, I don't know if anyone, anyone's watched my other interviews, but I'm always saying the music that I do listen to is my friends. Yeah. You guys okay. have to say, it's my brethren. Like, that's just me and him. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like he's doing it. Lavelle London, he's doing it 100%. Three Young Bane and Kojo. You said three. I can't do this. You have to do three. You, you want me to do to literally do... three right now? Three yeah. people, male and female. Yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. I just gotta say them just like that. That just so. S and E just so. one spot, so you only got two. Left. I'm a Kia Seminium. No. no. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool, cool, cool. Three people that are doing it right now. Time is ticking. Time is ticking, you know. Let me go for my son. Watch out now. Let me go for my Apple Music. No, I'm gonna go for my Apple Music. Okay. Alright. I've only got two right. spots left, remember that. I've only got two spots left, yeah? Alright, cool. I said one already. <laughs> Laval London. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's my second, yeah? What does he think? Can you... What does he... What does he think? 
Step by step, step by step, step or tension. Okay. Step by step, tension. Put it on me, you can tell me where you are from. And my third one, it's got to be a female on it. Can't find a leg too. Sisterhood. In it, just had to, in it. Who? Who? Big up Tally Well, Tally Well. <laughs> tally Well, so that's yeah. who we got to look out for. Mm. That's right. your top three. Yeah, so you, it, it wasn't done for one, you just wanted. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But going back to gold, Baby Sham remix. Yes, we never even spoke about that much. No, you have to listen, Baby Sham. Come on, well, talk the tunes. Go by Sham now. Sham, 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 Sham. 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 Baby Sham, yeah, yeah, old school. Mm. Talk the tunes. Where did How that did come that come from? about? Um, that was Charlie B. I was waiting for when we got into the DJ segment for us to say that. Well, here we are. Okay. Um, that was Shani B. Big up Shani B. If you don't know who Shani B is, you don't where know them have too. you been? I don't understand. Why are you even watching the show? Yeah. Go <laughs> <don't. laughs> <laughs> check it out. But um, Shani B, um, who is also the um, basically person that manages Braha, mm-hmm. okay. um, label man, and he um, that was his idea. His idea was Sham. And he brought it to us, and he was like, hmm, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then he, uh, we, we literally just went with it, innit? And okay. then um, obviously he'd already, I think he'd already contacted his channel already and really? everything, and already he saw everything. Yeah, up everything he started already. the process already, and then um, it, everything just went so fast. Mm. We got so big up Sham, man, big up Baby Sham, yeah, big up Sham, definitely. thank you so much. Do you know what I mean? Because it's, it's, it's very rare that you see an artist that's, that's a veteran that actually comes exactly. and says, Okay, to a yeah. tune from someone that's coming up. But if sometimes it's a no tune, matter how it's hard, a tune. Mm-hmm. you know, whether no you're coming up or okay. not, you know what I mean? It's a yeah. tune, and you've got to respect that. And it just goes to show his character as well. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's, it's a tune. No one yeah. can't floor it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Even yeah. if you're not into that kind of genre of music, you mm-hmm. can't take away yeah. that it's, it's, a, a tune. it's a big rhythm. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a banger. It can play anywhere radio, dance in your car, in the bathroom, mm-hmm. on your way to work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, it can play and you get a vibe from it. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Literally, yeah, keep man. bringing them. You mentioned the label. When did they get involved? They got involved, I can't even give you a date, you know. But, um, someone help me. So are you signed someone to Someone out there, help me. No, I'm an independent artist. Okay. Do you want to keep I'm it that way? Artist. I'm open to whatever's greatness or whatever God puts me. Okay. I'm very open to wherever I'm supposed to be. And you down for that because I discovered I didn't know about it before S N E came on. Mm-hmm. Like he opened um, knowledge to that you can just sign your song. Mm-hmm. You don't have to sign yourself. Mm-hmm. Would you be open to doing that if you feel like you took the song to the pinnacles it could? Let someone else take control of it, or Is would you like to keep it as your baby? With gold? Yeah, I mean I did that with gold. Okay, yeah, and um, I don't, I, I, I won't regret it. Like yeah. anything I do. No matter what happens, I'm not gonna regret anything I do. I do that. That's my stamp. That's my yeah, life. That's right. what I'm supposed to be. That's my place. Yeah. So I won't take it back. Um, I'm still working out. I can't tell you that's the best option. I can't mm-hmm. tell you that's yeah. that's what you should do because I don't know. That happened a couple months ago. It's been great. It's been yeah. amazing. But I can't tell you. Yeah. That's, that's the, it. That's the best way. Yeah. But um, yeah, you can sign a single. You don't have to sign yourself as an artist. Yeah. Which I think gives you a nice freedom. I like mm-hmm. that. To be yeah. honest, I. If I was an artist, I would experiment with it, I would dabble with it, yeah. I'd play with it. If you don't want to put yourself in a whole contract, you can see how it goes and learn lessons yeah. through signing a song or whatever. Be like, you know, that wasn't for me, I wasn't comfortable with it. Yeah. I wouldn't do it again, or I wouldn't do that for myself personally, or that was great. They took my song to places maybe I couldn't do independently, mm-hmm. and maybe I would do it again. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think it's good. How's your life changed with them coming into gold? How's life changed? Yeah. Um... I think life, I would say how's life changed since Gold came out in general. Mm. Um, obviously more people have known who Alakai Harley is. Yeah. Um, there's been more people that are supporting mm. and stuff like that. And it's just obviously the rec- being recognised outside then. Yeah. Or, um, mm. And the way our people approach you, I've got to be very cautious of why someone may be speaking to me. Or how yeah. I'm a very yeah. friendly person, like yeah. very bubbly and whatever. And I would talk to anyone, just be bubbly. But I've got mm. to be very cautious of how I'm making friends and stuff yeah. like that. And I think that's the, that's just probably the downside for me. Mm. However, the upside is just that obviously you know that your talent is being recognised mm. and right. you're always getting constant support yes. all the time. My DMs pop off like mm, no, no tomorrow, mm. like on and it's sometimes it's just support, like mm. just people just saying, I, d- "I just really love you." Like I just want you to do great things. Like yeah. I don't want you to watch nothing, and it's it's amazing. So, so, so Alakai, you've got a new tune out called Killer. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a bit about it. It's gonna be amazing. 
It's going to be greatness. <laughs> Hopefully. I wonder if it will be out by the time this is out, but um, it's going to be greatness. Um, killer. Mm. Produced by the Fanatics. Oh, <laughs> boy. Come Legends. On. Legends. Come on. Hey. Um, it's going to be great. Talk Can't us wait. through that track. Yeah. Talk us through yeah. it. Talk us through it. When that we track. hear the word killer, is it what we think? Nah. Okay. Mm-mm. It's not with the E-R, it's with the A. Just killer. K-I-L-L-A. Yeah, yeah. Killer. Like just slap it this way, just like that. Mm. Um, killer, I literally came in. So I was working for that. We've done bear traps and stuff right about now, I'm not going to lie. But I came in that day and they were making a beat and it was probably late or something. Mm-hmm. So they started making a beat and um, I came in and I was like, who's this for? Because every time I come in, I'm like, who's this for? Mm-hmm. Who's this for? And they're like, oh, we got this for this person. I was like, okay, cool. This one, it was like, no, I was making it. I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. And right there and then. First time as well that there's a track that I've sat down and written in the studio off the top. Mm-hmm. Okay. At all, actually. Yeah, that I've, I've sat down in the studio and wrote something like where other people are around and with someone else as well. Mm-hmm. And we started writing it and it just, it would just blow, didn't it? And it just yeah. became my character. So we started it and my throat started getting really sore. And I actually stopped the track and we stopped recording that day and we record more tracks, um, more potential singles. Okay. And then we came back about a month later and we was like, where's that killer track? Where's that track? And then we were listening and we was like, you know, that's the track. And we started working on that one and we finished the So what is it about? What's, what's the song about? The song is basically about me. Okay. She's trying to not give up. <laughs> the song's about me. It's all and she's me. She's a killer. The song's all and she me. Kill them. The she tune is all them. me. <laughs> Literally, it's, it's it's about basically a female saying that. Let me see. I can put this. <laughs> I do my thing in it. Yeah. Okay. And what's the essence of like? What's the sound? The sound. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> do, do. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fanatics. Body looking like a cola. What is the sound for true? It's a hot shot sound. Hot shot and fanatic sound. That's okay, what it is. Okay. Combined. Mm-hmm. So, so look out for that guy. Killer. I know we're going to be posting it. So it's automatic. So yeah, just right. look on the snap, look on the Insta, mm-hmm. look everywhere. You're gonna Fine see it. it. We're gonna kill yes. you with a pink hair and killer. Mm. Don't know. So we've been talking about what's hot, and as you're the queen and you're hot shot, mm-hmm. what's not? What's not hot? Who's yeah. Not Who's hot? not hot? We want to talk about human beings. So yeah. yeah like, we're talking about what artists are not hot right now. Like we're gonna do do a quick list, and then we're gonna do our tradition. You have to fling somebody off a of London Bridge or flat bridge, whichever bridge them have to get fling off. So we're gonna narrow it down to maybe three artists right now that you just think you're not really cutting it. You don't really Ooh, I have to say three artists' name that I, I'm not really cutting it. They don't do it for you. There's always somebody that don't do it for you. Not everyone's gonna, you know, different strokes. And then you've got to fling you know somebody what, off though? the bridge. But like you said, different strokes with different flows. There's no one that's not doing it for me. Nobody at all that you hear out there. This is diplomatic no thing with these people, man. No, there's no. I swear, <laughs> I'm being so sick. Listen, Listen, let me tell you know, you know the type of politician we want you to be. I'm you want to be like deal. Donald Trump I'm right now. I ain't about to be no Donald Trump. Just say it as it is. Yeah, like Donald Trump, just say it. All right, well, I'm going to say it as it is. Let me say it as what it is. The only energy I focus on is the positive. I don't have time to see who's not doing it. As far as I'm concerned, everyone has their own path and everyone's destined for greatness and what they're supposed to be. So would there be anyone on the radio where you're hearing tunes, you're hearing tunes, and someone comes on the radio and you don't mind lowing it down a little bit? I love music. I'm not going to lie to you, so... No, I'm keeping it real. Oh, my God. Rush, please, co-sign me. Co-sign me. Because they think I'm lying. No, be honest. Exactly. Exactly. I don't. Well, you need to know all your friends should be coming on the radio. No, no. I've mean, listened to them. I've right. put them on. Yeah, no, everyone's got to become Alakai's friend because. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, you all get right. Me. No, but no, on a real, because I know you don't think I'm bad. It's probably behind this people behind the screen that I really genuinely think I've got people in my head that I'm not talking about. No, I. But no you're gonna have to throw someone feeling. off the bridge though. Okay, cool. And if, I'm trying to think about if, if I don't think of anyone, then you have to think of somebody, or the show can't <laughs> done. <laughs> Ten more okay. million questions. Right, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna think. No, I'm not gonna. All right, <laughs> we come back to that. Who are you giving the strength to? Who's gonna be? Who's gonna be? Like, yeah, who, who, who's, strength who's like in the shadows? Gonna be that quiet. You think underrated, or maybe. Or just yeah. not reaching the potential, or you just they know they can do the thing, but bro, they've gone quiet. They've gone cool. They're not hot. They're not hot. They're but you want them to be. <laughs> Because they have it in there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I just saw, you know, we're in the desert, yeah? And it's a little bit tumbling around. Okay. So just because obviously you can't like you can't tell someone that the chips are cold if are hot if they're if I say they're cold in it so my level of what I want them to be yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I can't take Rush looking at me <laughs> and saying who are you about to say um I'm obviously gonna talk about my friends and it's, I'm not being biased oh, I think they're amazing um I think it's S S any any okay. I think it's coming though. Like I know, I don't think he's coming. I know he's coming, but I feel like that is someone that I feel like um, is like great at what they do. Who and can, whoever's giving, whoever we're, we're, when, we, when I want someone that's not media trained. I want someone that <laughs> that's <laughs> because, Rash, because are you doing I'm media not, trained over here? No, 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 I'm not, not, it's not about it's not about the controversy or nothing. But it is a bit. It's heart. about like I just, wait, I just want to know. Wait, like, no, stop. No, no, but, don't that, need a strength. but like I said, you guys said, I just said, remember Give I said, me someone in McDonald's, I worked, in Ma- I worked in McDonald's, yeah, yeah I've worked and in guess, McDonald's. guess what they told me, yeah. my dear, and guess what they it. told me, yeah, <laughs> on the first <laughs> thing when they was saying raw, what you said, they said if the customer says the chips are cold, the chips are cold, at the end of the day, if I say I feel like he could be, reach a higher hierarchy and I want him to be respected as more but than he should be, that's on me, that, that's because that's what I feel. But when we say give a strength, we don't mean that. What do you mean? We someone don't that, need that you know you play computer game and you need, need a life. They need an extra life. You need a life. Because they're falling off. Little life, like and you yeah. want to give them a little life. Little you energy. Push the energy in at them. Give them a little boost. Yeah, a boost. That me I say. You know when Sonic's collecting the gold coins and you, you, you need a <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that powers up a little bit. That's still who I say. Energy up. Yeah. Alright, who are you afraid of? Okay. <laughs> you know what? Let me try to think. 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 Let me try to they don't even have Too to be long, UK, ten, five, but boost. They, they could be like, the UK. No, no, it could be they, anywhere. Any like, any artist. Like, you just feel no. like, don't so reggae. I'm going to say in a way, you're going to say, I don't think the industry could do without them. I think the industry could do with everyone. I mean, who, like, who right now, you could just be like, we can do without them. You can, if you, if you got thrown. Oh, you want me to throw away someone now? Yes. yes. How long did you want me to throw away someone? Because I think this get, is getting to me. <laughs> Even if you threw them in the water, some, some just, to, that, just you know? to give them a little life yeah, and like, give them the thingy, like that's what yeah. Shanti so, said. Wait, am I throwing someone away? Yeah, you're yeah. throwing them off the bridge. How long have I been throwing them away? <laughs> no, we're just throwing them off the bridge. <laughs> okay, but did, did I just start now? Are we doing it just now? Yeah. yeah. So the whole time when I was speaking about S, S and all that stuff. No, you didn't throw them away. No, you didn't throw them away. No, 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 no. Yeah, we throw away. Put your hands here, him. You gotta throw away. You gotta throw away. Cool. Throw someone off. This is horrible. You, so you know what? Since we're doing this thing, the yeah. father concerned, I'm not over there. We're both on this panel. Mm-hmm. After I throw someone away, you don't have to throw someone We've away. We've done as well. it. I threw away Gully Buck. Mm. He threw away stuff London. Yeah. She, no, mm. I don't think she threw away anyway yet. <laughs> she had it. Who did you throw away? Gully Buck. With oh, me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it, yeah, was mine. it was mine. I threw Gully Buck. Back to Hot Shot. Who's getting Dash with? Dash with that. <laughs> I don't know who that is, dog count. He does count. You don't know who he is, but he needs a strength because we don't know who he is. It's a girl. I threw her away. Even worse. Who did you is say? Is this the little cousin that you said? No. That don't, listen, she got four <laughs> Give her the bottle of, uh, give her the bottle of alcohol. Pens. She got to put it to her head. She got four She got to do something. Mm-hmm. P A I I D Z. If you know, you know. Nah, man. She said she got to throw away a little cousin that did uh-huh. little bun and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> You're not doing this. You're not doing what she's done. Yeah. Nah. So just know, if you come on the show, you're talking the thing. I'm talking the thing. Where we did. Thank you. I'm sure she's pretty. She get where yeah. we did. But it's alright. We're gonna get our own back on her one day. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna get. Our own. We're gonna add some extra snippets where she's gonna be like. She told us this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and she told us this too. And it's gonna be creditable. 
Remember, I told you. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> it was lovely the having. Were good. Be the best part. The best part. Thank you. It was lovely having. Trained her well. And, uh, it, it was, was so lovely. lovely. Yeah, Seriously. it was lovely having you on. We're twinning, you know that. I know. Hello, hello, hello. Nothing too hard, enough for me. Yeah, man. Yeah, you're gonna do a visual when you come first, you know, and give uh, him wifey who that. You know what? Today I thought the same thing. I was like, should I just record this tune and give I them a yeah, video? I think it's bad. It's I wicked. think you should do audio and could do a little. I want to be a little cameo wifey who's that. Ha ha ha! Who's gonna be me. featured in that one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oi, oi, oi! Ring down my phone and all them time. We don't do don't banger know. talking. Mm -mm. Don't know. I am me. You fish in the back and I'll get that. <laughs> <laughs> I need the steam fish. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I let people know that. Yeah, man. Yeah, but thanks yeah. for coming on the show. Keep Big doing what you're doing. Mm. Hot shot! Holly! Hot shot! Holly! Holly. 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 Holly.